Welcome, welcome to, from soup to tomatoes. This is a gentle workout. <clears throat> so the whole thing takes place seated. Welcome. So um, if you're joining me today, fantastic. We've been talking about decreasing our risk for um, chronic illness. So let's take a few deep breaths because that's part of it. Get in our tall posture. So shoulders back, chest out, 90 degree angles wherever we can or joints are stacked, so knees over ankles, hips and shoulders in one line. And we begin here, taking a few deep breaths. Fantastic. And from here, with our shoulders back, our chest out, we're going to bring our palms up and press them back as far as we can. And then bring the palms down and press them back there. And then again. You have to forgive me, there's no second hand on my clock. In fact, the clock I'm looking at is not even the right time. So um, if I look over to my left, there's a little clock there. So it has a second, um, second hand, so I can see it. Good. So from here, we're going to fly it forward. Take a few deep breaths. So we're doing each one for 30 seconds. It's fun already, yeah? Woo! <laughs> good job, good job. A few more. We got 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left. Fantastic. Squeezing. Ooh, look at you. Fantastic with your red. Woo! Good job. So we, ha we wear red on Fridays just to... Um, to support the troops or anyone whose family uh, has served for us in the military uh, or anywhere really and um, just to kind of acknowledge everyone that serves so um, it's called Red Fridays so uh, I, I salute all of you that celebrate it and uh, whether you're wearing red or not you look fantastic so let's keep marching except now we're going to take it down to a kick so we're going to keep kind of a slow march going, but we're going to start to extend our legs a little bit. Good, and change it up. Fantastic. So today, uh, the workout is uh, kind of inspired by the, I'm going to train um, some hockey players tonight. So I had hockey players in mind when I was uh, kind of, making the workout not to say that we'll be doing anything too fancy but the same principles apply whether i'm training you or i'm training some uh, young hockey players so just keep that in mind good fantastic one more good and then we're going to do a few push-ups so i would make all hockey players do push-ups to see where they can do their push-ups so shoulders are back chest is out Remember, you want to keep the elbows tight and press your chest forward. And then you can feel a lower back stretch right here. And then as you press yourself up with your hands, you keep yourself nice and tall. So get those shoulders back, chest out, exhale forward, inhale up. Fantastic. Shoulders back, chest out, exhale forward. Doesn't that feel good? Inhale up. These are the best feeling push-ups you've ever done, yes? Shoulders back, chest out, exhale forward. Press that chest forward. Inhale, push yourself up. Two more, two more. Shrug to get into position. Exhale forward. Inhale up. I bet you your spines are thanking me right now. Shoulders back, chest out, exhale forward, last one, inhale up. So that's a fantastic seated option for push-ups, is it not? It's just beautiful. All right, so with that in mind, let's take our feet uh, as wide as we're comfortable being. Like I said before, what, I was going a little too wide and my hip was really noticing it. So now I'm taking it in a bit, it's much more comfortable. Take a big deep breath here, reaching out with both hands. We want to set our shoulders. So roll the shoulders back, chest out, and actively reach. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach out to the side. 
Those are beautiful. Oh, I don't like those arms. There you go. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, out to the side. So you're actively reaching each right here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, out to the side. So right about now, you should really be thinking about your shoulders. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, out, 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 out. Right there, right there. Two more, two more. This is where it starts to get some heat. It's called sun pose for a reason. Yes? Yes. Not only does it brighten our day, but it also woo, warms up and creates heat in the body. Yeah? Good job. Good job. I know. It's a good one, right? Woo, it's good. All right. Leg press. So one of the fundamental things that we can do in a seated position, bringing the knee in and pressing the foot out. Big deep breath, press it out. Two, three, notice where you feel it. Pull that knee in as close as you can. Four, we got four more. Five, oh, now we're starting to feel it, right? Six, this is what I'm talking about. Seven, one more. Woo! Eight, good job. It's always only eight. Okay, just so you know, the odd time I'll go to 10, but usually it's 8. So just know, if you can make it through 8, you've got it. If you can only do 3, count them and try to beat it by 1 next time. You'll probably surprise yourself and get a few more than that. Good, big deep breaths. Four more. And there are some exercises that you may find at first really hard to do. And it will take you practice to improve. Two more. The shoulder ones, for instance. One more. Good job. Good job. So another really good move that doesn't have any equipment is spinal balance. So you take one arm and one leg. So they should be diagonal, opposite arm and leg. Good. Now you're going to press the heel out and lift the heel up as you reach out. And then come down. Keep the leg up if you can. You can rest it. Two. That's it. Shoulders back, chest out, reach. Three. Very good. Four. Woo! Four more, four more. Five. So good. Six. Come on, we got two more. We got two more. Are we going to feel it or what? Seven. One more, one more, eight. Woo! So hopefully you have to realign your body. Do I see everybody scooching back? Super duper, it means your abs were working just right. So take uh, one leg and press it out, and the opposite arm is going to reach out as you lift your heel up and reach. So one, two. Enjoying number three here. Woo! Oh yes! Four! Four! We're halfway there! Five! Woo! Six! Smile because you're getting stronger! Seven! Smile because you only got one left! Eight! Woo! Fantastic job with the spinal balance! So if you happen to have your, hand, your band handy, if you don't have a band, uh, just do the movements without a band, if you, if you can get one, great. We're going to put it under our bums today, because I have a whole bunch of moves under the bum. It's either under the bum or under the feet today. So try to even out your band and sit both cheeks on top of that band. So see, I put my band down, I'm going to sit on it. There we go. Okay? Now, you have both uh, bands at the tips of your fingers here. You're going to grab one of them and let the other one go. And then you're going to take your shoulders back, chest down, and just lift the arm to shoulder height with your elbow bent. Okay, so if that's too easy, take a little bit of the band and just bunch it into your hand. And then lift it again. Too easy? Take a little bit more of the band. Bunch it in your hand and lift it. Oh, just right. Fantastic. Now we take the opposite leg, 
So it's my right arm, my left leg. And I take that leg out as I lift. And then bring it back down. Good. Take the leg out as I lift. And then bring it back down. See how my other leg is really planted? Make sure you're planted in your other leg and in the seat. Inhale out. Exhale down. That's right. Inhale out. Exhale down. Four more. Inhale out. Exhale down. You've come this far. Three more. Woo! Enjoying, enjoying these last two. Oh, can we feel that cheek start to talk? One more. Woo! Good job, good job. Now we're going to switch to the other side. So again, your other arm may be different than you know, the first arm you did. So take your band, grab it right at the tip, and just lift it and bend the elbow. Make sure that you're in a good position that's comfortable for your shoulder. We don't want to go right into it and it's not really comfortable. Got it? It's good enough? Good. So release that arm down. Take the opposite leg and flex it. And then take it out. Bring it back. Beautiful. Inhale out. Exhale back. And you're really planted in this foot. This knee is over this ankle. You're pressed into the back to protect your spine. You're squeezing your bum and you're smiling. Woo, yeah, that goes with it too. You're stronger when you're in a positive state of mind. Four more. Four more. Woo! Three more. Like we feel it and love it. Two more. One more. Woo! Good job, good job. All right. So next one, we're doing shoulder press. So if you do this and it's already difficult, then don't do the bands. But if you want to make it a little more challenging, you're going to grab the bands at the very tip with your fingers. You're going to take your shoulders back, chest out, and lift and lower. Then we're going to hold it, bring one knee up, bring the other knee up. Got it? Shoulder press, lower, one knee up, the other knee up. Shoulders back, chest out, lift. Oh, yes, lower. Lift one knee. And I lift the other. I love it. Press it. Come back. Chest out. Woo! Okay, we got four more. We just got four more. You can rest your arms at any time. Except after this one, you just got three more to go. Three more. We can do it together, can't we? Big deep breaths. Woo! That's it. That's it. Two more. Two more. Good job, good job. Woo! Was that a tough one, right? Good job using your shoulders so well. All right, so this next one, a little more complicated to explain, but you're going to grab the band so that the tail is towards your little finger as opposed to the thumb. So you're going to grab it upside down like, because you're going to go back and see how it fits the line of my wrist. So, Again, one leg is going to do a pump, the other, the, the opposite arm is going to go back, all right? So we take the opposite leg out, lift that leg as you pump the other one back, and then release it. Lift and lower, two. Lift back and lower, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, it's supposed to feel a little awkward. Five. Good. Shoulders back, chest out. Six. Almost there. Seven. Are you getting sweaty? <laughs> Eight. Woo! Do you know why that is? Because we're using multiple uh, muscles to do to get to coordinate this thing. 
So let's grab the band upside down. So I've got my thumb down to grab it. So I'm grabbing from my thumb and it's going out towards my baby finger. And that's so that as I do the press back, right, I, it's, it's more in line with my wrist. So shoulders back, chest out, opposite leg, pumps as we lift back and release. Shoulders back, chest out, pump as you lift back, two. So once for triceps, once for thighs, three, four, very good, five, six, Seven, one more, eight. Fantastic, fantastic. We got one more, one more. So we're gonna take our left arm first, okay? Actually, you can make an X right away. Well, if you make the X right away, it might be confusing. So let's say your left arm goes across your body and grabs the band from the left, from the right side. So make sure that your band is going across your body. Got it? Yeah, there you go. Now reach out with it, like a thumbs up position. And then back down. Good. And we're gonna do uh, three more. Two more. One more. Good, and then the other side. You can keep holding on to that band though, because we're gonna be doing both after. So take the other arm and grab diagonally so the band goes over to the, the yeah, exactly. And then stretch out and slowly come back. Again, you want, you want to be in a thumbs up position. So I'm, again, I have the band in my, in my fist, let's say. And it's pretty comfortable there actually. Yeah, I like it. Good, two more. So what is this called? The one-armed wood chopper. And once again, it's a useful move for everyone. So now that we did five on each side, we're gonna do five together. And here's the exception, right? Because we're doing 10 repetitions. So again, with the X here, we're gonna reach both arms out and slowly come back. Isn't that beautiful? Both arms out. Woo! And slowly come back. Fantastic. Again, both arms out. And slowly come back. Woo! Two more, two more. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. One more. Good job, good job. So take your band from under your bum and we're gonna march and we're gonna hold the band in our hands. So I've forgotten about this. Uh, in fact, instead of marching, we're gonna toe tap. So keep your heels on the ground and move your toes. So uh, like I was saying, I was inspired by the hockey players, but keep your toes tapping. So lifting the toes, keeping the heels down. So one thing that's really important is disconnecting what the, what the legs are doing with what the upper body is doing. So taking our band, we're gonna circle around our head. So keep the toes tapping, but take the band and really circle around your head. Good, you got it. Keep the toes tapping, keep the toes tapping. Tap them like it's your favorite song, you can't get enough of it. Woo! How about other direction? Other direction. Keep the toes tapping though. Keep the toes tapping. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, done. So the next move is the calf press. But since we're seated, we're gonna work it a little harder by lifting one leg and doing a calf press with the other leg. Good. Woo! I don't know why I'm counting them. 15 seconds left and we'll change legs. So holding this leg up, 
is actually the hardest part, right? Good. Fantastic. Now switch. Other leg comes up. Lift that big toe up if you can. Calf press on the other leg. Good. Ten seconds left. Woo. Are we starting to feel this thigh kind of waking up, saying hello? Five, four, three, two, one, done. The last move we're going to do in this little set is the fart move. So we're going to lift up our bums or lift up the whole leg so that you're lifting your cheek off the chair or you take your hands away and this is the hardest version. We do this, it's recommended two to five minutes. We're gonna try to get two sets in, but we may only get one. So we're gonna be doing an entire minute. So we got about 30 seconds left. <sighs> take your time, it's actually called a chair walk. But I call it the fart move because it's easier to remember for people. And it sticks out, you know, it's a little bit kind of a rude word, if you will. So kind of makes you remember. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. So all you got. Five, four, three, two, one. Done, done. You'll forget all about that, okay? You'll forget all about it next. So we're going to put the band under both feet. Time's a wasted, time's a wasted. Let's get to her. So feet together, shoulders back, chest out. Again, okay, first round, be at the very end of your, your band. So see how I'm hanging on, very tips here. We got three moves, we're gonna combine them. Shoulders back, chest out, you're gonna lift your elbows up, gently squeeze them back. That's right, upper back, right? Take your arms out to the side, lift them out to the side. Good. Take your arms out to the front. Lift them to the front. We release them all the way back down and do it again. Lift, squeeze. Oh, nice. Palms to the side, lift out to the side. So beautiful. Palms to the front, lift to the front. Now if it's easy, you can increase the tension if you want a little bit. But if it's just challenging enough, leave it, leave it. Lift, squeeze. If you can feel those muscles, that's where I want you to be. Palms facing each other, a lift. Woo! So good. Palms facing the thighs, and lift. This is, I find, the hardest one of the three is that front one for me anyway. Shoulders back, chest out, lift, and squeeze. Palms facing the thighs, shoulders back, chest out, lift. Oh, it's so beautiful. To the front, lift. Woo! All right, let's do two more sets, okay? So shoulders back, chest out, lift, and squeeze your upper back, upright row. Palms to the side, lift out to the side, lateral shoulder raise. To the front, shoulders back, chest out, front shoulder raise. It's all shoulder. It's really all shoulder. So palms again, facing the back of the room, shoulders back, chest out, last time. Lift and squeeze. So beautiful. Hands facing the thighs, palms down, so to speak. Oh, that looks good. Last one to the front and lift. Good. So the only thing we really didn't work today, because we already did triceps, thighs, is the biceps. Right here. So let's do a hammer curl. We're already in the right position. We got one minute left of this warm-up. So what a good opportunity, right? So try microphone hold for that one, because it goes in line with where you're trying to go. Shoulders back, chest out, elbows stay in, and you slowly go down to a bent elbow position. So even when I'm at the bottom here, my upper arm doesn't change positions whatsoever. Right, do you see? 
and then I stay a little bit bent at the bottom here. Two. Very good. Three. hamstring. So shoulders back, chest out, let's feel it. Now when you begin to feel the stretch, I want you to notice it. Now if it's all back behind the knee, soften the knee, bend it a little. Take another deep breath and press the chest forward. From this position, now release the hands and the head down. Now you can feel free to wiggle around a little bit. Try to find a deeper space, a deeper breath. One more deep breath. Good. And then we walk it back up. Did that change your stretch a little bit? Like kind of noticing? Because it's such an important stretch. You don't really want to take it for granted. You always want to progress it and feel it. So flexed foot, because we're getting the calf at the same time. So that's why we want the flexed foot. Knee soft, perhaps. Shoulders back. Chest out. Press the chest forward. Take a really deep breath to acknowledge where you feel this stretch. If it's behind the knee, soften that knee and notice if the stretch travels somewhere else. Take a deep breath and release the hands and the head down. Roll around a little bit, try to feel the muscles. And then come back up nice and tall. So did that change it a little bit? It's nice, eh? It's nice. Good. All right. Fantastic. So another one uh, that we do very, very often in yoga, but not so often in this uh, class, is called happy baby. You know babies are generally happy. So get into a wider squat, so about hip width apart, but not too wide, kind of like a middle one, okay? You need to wrap your arms around your legs, and relax your chest and neck down. So from here, once you relax your neck down, see if you can feel behind your back or inside, I want to say, but like inside your bum, like deep, deep in the hip. And then relax your head some more. One more deep breath here, just to try to get your shoulders to relax between the legs. And then put your hands on your thighs and push yourself back up to protect your spine. Isn't that nice? Just like our push-ups, right? Good, good. So let's bring it back to nice and tall when you're ready. Oh, you're frozen. Yeah? Are we good? Hey, good, good. All right. I thought I'd wait and see. All right. 
last shoulder stretch. So we'll just take it over and in. Pull the arm in. Good job. And then if you want to progress it to an eagle's pose, go right ahead. And then down. But you don't have to if you don't want to. And then the other side. So reaching out and bringing it forward, pulling it in. And then if you want to tighten it into eagle, go right ahead. Take a deep breath here. Fantastic. And then release. So good job today. Good job, all right? I'm so proud of each and every one of you to put so much effort into your body, into your health. And I always appreciate you working out with me. So have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next week, all right? Have a great weekend. Enjoy.